Hello, this is Jolly Gaming Panda, and today I will be making a special video. So, I had this childhood Pokemon album from when I was a kid. For a long time, it kind of just disappeared. I thought something happened to it. thought it was gone. Recently, family found it. It was in a really beaten down cardboard box on the verge of well, being destroyed. But thankfully the album was safe. It actually didn't get any damage. Maybe it's just a teeny bit dirty on the cover, but it's actually in really good condition still. So it's really awesome. Finally got this back. And this is a Pokemon Black and White album. It's a really nice one. Back when I was first getting into Pokemon, Sinnoh was popular, but this was my very first Pokemon album. And I was really into Pokemon Black and White. Pokemon White version was my very first mainline Pokemon game having played. So I'm very happy that I have this again. I looked through it. I actually still have a lot of my cards it's all in here. Even my very first Pokemon trading card, my very first one, it's in here. So in today's video, I kind of want to talk about these cards and show everyone because I think it's really awesome I found this. Nothing will ever happen to it again, but just in case, I kind of wanted to make a video showing off my cards. So yeah, kind of dirty. It was mm, just stored away for a long time. It's really nice cards. So a lot of really cool ones. We got Pharaoh, Ambipom, Tyrooge, Lillipup, Patrat, a lot of the Unova Pokemon. Some of them aren't Unova though. Some are Sinnoh, some are other regions. I think it's all cool. I'm glad my family found it because I looked everywhere and I'm pretty tidy and organized and still never came across it. So really get, I'm really glad to have it back. So there's all the Unova Pokemon, Panzer, Snivy. We even have some Pokemon from other regions like Snubble, Fanapy, Mime Jr. It's all old cards. It's really nice. I love this Toxic Croak card. It's a really nice one. It's just really reflective and pretty. It's really cool ones. Even this Jirachi, it's nice and shiny. Got Matchup. Matchup. However you want to pronounce his name, I got that one. Turtwig here. I can't remember where that was from. Even got Weedle over here. Weedle is one of my favorite bug Pokemon, so it's nice getting this back. Licky Licky over here. So a lot of nice cards. A lot of nostalgic ones. Even got Empoleon over here. Good trainer cards. Just each of these are really nice. I did notice with this Turtwig, there's a little bit of blue on his forehead. I kind of, I guess I had some marker smear on him, but that's okay. I do know I used to use a lot of art stuff back then, so some stuff smeared on that one. I checked the rest. I don't think anything... Got marked up on the rest of my cards, my cards, thankfully. Oh, my favorites. Oh, I spoke too soon. Another blue marking on the Turtwig card. Why did all the Turtwigs get marked up? I don't know. But I'm so happy to see my Beedoof cards. I used to stare at the Beedoof cards for hours. I love the Beedoof cards. 
Bidoof became one of my favorites. Probably my very first favorite ever having when I got into Pokemon was Bidoof. Wait, I need to look at this one. This looks like an old card. It looks... <gasps> what? I have a 1995 Pokemon card? This I had to then have... I wonder if I got this from school. Basically, I was like, Rudolph couldn't join in on any of the sports or anything. And nobody wanted me to play Pokemon trading cards with them either. So sometimes the kids would try and shoo me off by giving me Pokemon cards. I must have got that Lynx card from them. Wow, that's a very special card. Don't come across those at all, really. At least whenever I try to look for individual cards to shop for. At the sh trading card shops, I never come across any of the very first Pokemon cards, really. So, that's awesome. Got a lot of nice ones. Aw, Shellos. One of my favorites. I don't know what set this is again. It was a, um, Volcano set. It's a toy set of Pokemon that was popular back with Brilliant, I mean, Diamond and Pearl. And, um, it was a Volcano set. Came with the evolution of Chimchar, two Shellos, the blue and the pink. I can't remember if there were any other Pokemon that came with that set. There was the Volcano set. Which was really awesome. I wish I still had it. I don't know what happened to that. Probably got donated, but it was very cool. I don't see stuff like that with Pokemon anymore. No toy sets of just locations and having the toy, uh, toy action figures come with it. It was cool. And apparently the volcano could have blew up. You could just... Mix some stuff in it and it would pour out or something. But I never did that because it would have ruined the set, of course. But it was cool. I always think of that when I see this shallow. I think I lost the action figure toy too. I don't know if I still have that somewhere. And the wings were able to snap off easy. I think my shallows lost its wing at one point. But it's Nice cards. I just have a lot of memories with each card. It's really awesome having these again. Have a lot of Sinnoh and Unova Pokemon, which is my favorite regions when it comes to Pokemon, because those have good memories with me. Oh, even the Alakazam. This one was really cool. I always looked at that one because it was a really nice one. Oh, some of my favorites here. Got Oshawott. I don't know if that one was from McDonald's. Yeah, I think it was from McDonald's. McDonald's a few times, once or twice, did Pokemon Black and White toys or something. One time they actually had figurines of Oshawott's and Ivy and a lot of them, even Axew and stuff. And I don't know if that was the same time or a different time, but they came with these trading cards that had print images of the characters with a few sparkles. Even got Scallopede here. Really nice. It's st a star, meaning it's a rare one, so that's cool. I like Scallopede. One of my favorite bug Pokemon. I relied on Scallopede a lot when playing Pokemon White. So that's a favorite. And this one I'll have to show everyone. So this one is a really special card. This was my very, very first Pokemon card ever. It's Employee X. Came in a tin featuring all the final evolutions of the Pokemon characters. There was Employee and Fernape. Um, who else? 
Torterra. So it's a really beautiful card. Special. I don't know if the, you could even find this easy anymore. It's super pretty. I love all the glitter and everything. It's just pretty. It was my very first trading card ever, so it's very special. Let me see. Uh, I can't focus. Surely I could focus on this. Something's wrong with the camera not wanting to focus. Promo. I don't see any stars or anything. Maybe not all promo cards have that. I recently found a... What was it? A Rotom card. I think it was Rotom V. And it did not have a star on it. It had the Pokemon logo and promo and all that. This one doesn't have it either, but this is 100% legit though because it came in the tin and everything from actual Pokemon Company. So I guess not all cards have the star, the circle meaning they're rare, but it does have the promo at the corner here. It's a very beautiful card. Really nice. My very first card, so very special. I'll never ever sell this or give it away because it's that special. So we got more. We got Electric here, which is pretty cool. I always like looking at that one. I don't consider Electric a favorite Pokemon, but I think I was always fascinated by their design. I sometimes like doodling them and their evolution. Thought they looked pretty cool. Oh, one of my Bidoof cards. This this might have been my very first. I don't know which Bidoof card honestly came first. If it was the one from earlier or if it's this one. But yeah, I remember this cute one of Bidoof just climbing out of the bushes. Really cute. I definitely like Bidoof, my favorite Pokemon card. Or just Pokemon character. My most favorite's Eevee. Ever since Let's Go Eevee, Eevee's been my favorite. But Bidoof was my very first favorite Pokemon that I could recall, so. Got Simiseer. I don't know what it is with all the hate. Over Simiseer, people call this Pokemon ugly, but they're not. They're a cute monkey with a little cloudy fluff around their neck. There's nothing ugly about them. They're cute. They have a flamboyant hairstyle that represents flames too, just like a fire type. I've always liked Simiseer. I think when I was starting out with the Pokemon White for the DS, I did prefer the water monkey, I don't remember their name, but there was a water, grass, and fire monkey. But because I chose Oshawa as my starter, I wound up with Simiseer. I think depending on the starter you chose in the game, determined which character that you got. I got the fire monkey. But I wound up getting attached to them and even evolved them and loved the evolution. That was one Pokemon I actually never regretted evolving. I just always loved the evolution a lot. So, and I love these. I think this was a McDonald's card. The Partridge. It says Diamond and Pearl logo on it. See the logo? It's pretty cool. Nice. I wonder if this was a McDonald's card. Let me know if you recognize it. I'm pretty sure it was a McDonald's card. <laughs> nice cards. We got Sharon here from Pokemon Black and White. Oh, I need to pull out this card though. Wow. 
How rare is this? Let me know in the comments. I'm very curious of this card. Palkia and Dialga Legend. I don't have the full card set. I already looked through this album. I do not have the full thing. But this is cool. I wonder if the rarity is on here at all. 2010 Pokemon. He has a star and a crown. Pull this from your hand onto your bench only. The, the other half of Palkia Dialga Legend. It's a really pretty card. I wish I had the full card. I guess for a while Pokemon was doing some kind of rare cards where you had to have two to finish it. Let me know what if you know anything much about the legend cards. I didn't even know these were a thing. I forgot about this. But I got at least the spot that had both Pelkey and Dialga, their faces, so it looks really cool. Very curious about those legend cards. I'll have to look into them. So while the Pokemon White was my very first mainline Pokemon game, that actually was not my very first Pokemon game having played. My very first one was actually Pokemon Rangers. There's multiple Pokemon Rangers game. This particular one had a Pichu with a guitar. So... Yeah, um, that was my first one. I remember there was, we could sometimes have Pokemon follow us around. I always loved Fortress following me. I thought more Fortress had a cool design going. Looks like Minikino, Pansage, Kubone, Blitzel. They're all cool. I feel like a lot of these are common at the time, they were considered common cards, but they're really nice ones. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh. It's another incomplete card. Looks like Oho. This is too cool. Looks pretty. Oh, oh, legend. Put this card from your hand onto your bench on only with the other half of Oh, oh, legend. Yeah, I gotta have both halves to use. Super pretty. It's a shame I don't have the complete set of those, but I have parts of them, which is still nice. Looks like I got a lot of Gothita duplicates. Had a psychic thing going on over here. Oh, got Woo Bear. Lollipop. Venipede. Whirlpede. Another Whirlpede over here. Really nice cards. Brings back good memories. A trainer card featuring Final Evolution of Totodile. Got Pidov. Skunky, Flareon, oh, this Venonat's cute. Well, I like these, and I like the art style for some of these supporter trainer cards. Because with some of these, it has the older Pokemon art style. Back when their eyes were kind of skinnier, if that makes any sense. I kind of like that, because the art style does change over the years with Pokemon. So, kind of has some nostalgia to the earlier Pokemon anime. Well, this is a lot of cards. Got Gra Growlithe, Whooper, one big tail they have. These are all cute and cool. Got Pat Rat. Simipur. Wow, is this it? Got a shiny clang over here. Shiny reflective coating. 
Oh, we got Tap Big. Blitzel. Ooh, a nice Z Crumb card over here. And that seems to be it. That's all my cards. And on the back, you got um, Zorark. Really cool. So I don't know how rare this album is. If you could still get a hold of this black and white album, probably not. This was back when black and white was trending. But I do wonder if there's any other albums like this one. Anymore, I see cheaper official Pokemon albums that's really small. The card sleeves aren't that great at all. This one's actually surprisingly good. Anymore, I just make my own Pokemon albums. I'll buy a binder with empty sleeves. Just color some random Pokemon artwork. And then just put in the cards. But yeah, this is my very first Pokemon album. Very special. I would, very, I would really consider this my Paldia treasure. It's a treasure I thought I lost, didn't have anymore. I thought it was actually gone. So it's really nice. My family was able to find it and I have it back. Now I'm definitely not going to let it leave my side again. Always going to be present in my room somewhere, along with my other cards. I really have a nice trading card thing going. So I got this album. And I got another album and two others. My second album actually got started it, because, well, I lost this album. Everyone knew that. My grandma was really nice and she actually got me a really nice box set of Oho. And I was able to get my trading card collection going again. So I have... That, and then the two albums I started this year when I started buying myself some new trading cards. So that's four Pokemon albums I have from over the years. Really nice. I'll show off my other albums in the future. I think I might even hold off on showing off my other albums. Maybe closer to the end of the year. I might want to make some kind of video just showing all of my Pokemon card albums up till now. That would be pretty cool. But I think I'll wait till the end of the year because I'm sure I'll still try and get a few little cards to cover the sleeves. But yeah, this was my very first Pokemon album card. It's really nice. I was super happy to see my very first employee card was still in here. My very first Pokemon trading card. Made me really happy finding that in there. So thanks for watching. I hope everyone found this enjoyable. Feel free to comment. Be sure to like and subscribe.